The 1998 antifreeze poisoning death of Julie Jensen in the Pleasant Prairie home she shared with husband Mark took 10 years to go to trial. Mark Jensen spent weeks and months obsessing and thinking about how he was going to get rid of his wife. Mark Jensen was convicted of killing Julie in 2008 and sentenced to life. State of Wisconsin versus Mark D. Jensen. But five years later, he was granted a new trial after a federal court said a key piece of evidence shouldn't have been admitted. It was a so-called voice from the grave letter his wife gave to a neighbor, pointing the finger at her husband if she died. It said in part, quote, if I'm found mysteriously dead, this is the person who killed me. Mark Jensen's defense team made the argument from the start that admitting the letter as evidence was unfair because they said that they couldn't cross-examine Julie. It's the argument that ultimately won him a new trial. I spoke with his attorney after that new trial was granted in 2013. We've been hopeful. We know that this is the, the right decision. The, the letter never should have come in at this trial. Do you think they get a conviction without the letter? No. No way. Former Kenosha County District Attorney Bob Jamboys returns for the retrial, now as a special prosecutor. He said at a 2016 hearing he's confident in another conviction, even without Julie's letter. There's been a whole mountain of additional evidence that's been presented, evidence that further underscores the defendant's guilt and the devious and uh, unspeakable nature of the crime that was committed here. Prosecutors fought the order for a new trial all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court, a process that's taken the past six years. But Jensen has remained locked up ever since, unable to post the $1.2 million bail. That trial finally gets underway here Monday with jury selection. At the Kenosha County Courthouse, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News.